It sounds crazy when I say it out loud, but this is our new home, Kimberley Joe. Until this year, we hadn't even set foot on a narrow boat. We are Tony and Sonia, and after more than 20 years of teaching, we thought you only lived once, and it was time that we had some adventures. We would love it if you came along with us. At the marina, it's a new year, 2024. Um, I think you can hear that in the background. That is a hell of a storm. Um, it's been raining for now 80 days and 80 nights, I think. Uh, I'm trying to start to round up the animals. I've got two swans, two ducks, cut the fish so far. Um, but on a serious note, I'm just going to show you how much the water has risen, even just in this marina. Come with me. The okay, first thing I'm going to show you is this rope. This rope is taut, tight, tight like a twiger. Um, it was quite loose when we moored up, but the water levels have risen, so that's tight. You can now see as well, our boat is, it couldn't be any tighter to the pontoon. So what I've got to go down and do in a second, but obviously I have to put down the camera in a moment to be able to do it. So here's our rope at the front, again, twit like a twigger. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to ease off these ropes because um, well, it's quite dangerous, the boat could tip. And if I show you down here, so this was quite a bit deep, it was probably about a couple of foot deep, feet deeper. But look, you can see the water now coming over the top. And if I look down there, it's completely flooded down there. See how that boat is? That boat's almost on the, up on the side. Um, I might have a wander around actually and make sure all the other boats are okay because some of these have been left for a while. So if you look down there, you can just see it's completely flooded now. That boat down there is practically out of the water now where it's the, the water's risen so much. So I'm gonna put the camera down, I'm gonna loosen the ropes and then I'll take you on a wander and have a little look. So I've just loosened off the front and you can see now, though, it's just a little bit, it's getting blown about quite a bit, but there's just enough give in the rope now that the boat can pull, will move around a little bit. You can see it's over the edge over there. show you a comparison when the water goes down but that the water's up to those um, big bits of timber it's used to be a good foot back from that at least you can see that lamppost there is surrounded by water now other boats seem okay it doesn't seem like anyone's in any bother See the edge that's well over the top of that. And like I say, it's normally quite a bit down from that as well. And you can just see the rings. And those tires they're usually down by the side of a boat, but they're just floating on the top now.
here. Let's see. It's getting very close. So for any of our fellow boaters out there, I hope you've got a nice secure mooring. So back on the boat again. I'm sorry, I apologise for the quality of the video right now, but obviously I've just come in from the rain. Um, I just get down the warm end of the boat. So wow! <laughs> uh, Sonia's off. Uh, she's popped back to her, uh, her mum. She's got like um, a visit she's got to do up there. So she's travelled down to there and left me alone on the boat. I think she knew something I didn't. So she's having a nice Chinese takeaway tonight. Um, at her mum's, down by the coast, I don't know what it's like down there, and she's left me, <laughs> left me here, um, so I'm just hoping the rain dies off a little bit because this could be fascinating, this video, I wasn't, we weren't going to have a video this week because right now we are in Tampa, um, well just coming back from Tampa actually, so we wouldn't have been able to put a video out in time, but um, Boating life is never boring, so hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, what I'll try and do as well is if it does die down and before we go away, um, I'll give you a kind of comparison video so you can just see what it's normally like. You can see what the water level is like. I'm standing here at the moment, the boat is absolutely rocking. You can hear the solar panels going backwards and forwards. Um, we're going on a cruise. Hopefully, I'm not on my own Titanic right now. But yeah, you can. See, I don't know if you can see that right now, but the boat is absolutely rocking side to side. Never dull, never dull. Wish it was sometimes, but never dull. So you can see the solar panel. It's getting blown about quite a bit. So I'm gonna try and tighten up the solar panels. Um, everything else, seem too bad all seems fairly secure nothing being blown off um, so I think yeah I'm just gonna try and tighten these oh top of the chimney's gone oh that's not good so top of our chimney was blown off and um, so I need to find that In the meantime, I need to get a pot or something because otherwise water's going to be going in, so that's not great. So after the madness of last night, I mean, it was incredible, the storm. It really was. Very cool though, being on a boat during it. But you can see the water levels now. You can see that blue pipe. It was way up over the white bit there and into the gravel. Same along there. There's our now cowless we no longer have a bit of simon on top there but yeah everything all in one piece i got this morning which was a relief if you remember water was right up to these um long bits of wood and the timber along here it was all the way up to that um as i come along you can see these these rings now back where the boat when the boat's going to come in they were just on top of the water. This one's landed back on top. So I'll carry on down. This lamppost was underwater. This boat I was actually quite worried about because at one stage I did think it was going to end up on the side. But it's all back in again now. You can see that their road's very loose. They obviously were very aware. But yesterday those trees were being blown about saying rotten 
and here again this wall towers all the way as you saw yesterday all the way up past these two poles but today everything looks very nice and calm today but beautiful looking out over the hills with a nice sky a little bit nicer than yesterday so yeah just got a cow um, walking back to the boat something that's really noticeable is how many boats don't have one of these and I'm guessing a, I'm guessing a lot of those are because they've been blown off in the wind I know that's what our um, the bloke next to us on his boat he said he's lost his a couple of days ago um, but they're quite substantial I guess the fact they're shaped like a frisbee doesn't help could have been quite dangerous um, but it could have got blown any direction if it got blown one way it ends up on the path, one way it ends on the pontoon but no, it obviously got blown straight into the water lovely day today though lovely day it's like a seal even though, well it's not rained yet today you can even see you can even see the sun in the distance somewhere there so let's go put this on before it starts raining again so you see the new cow, 20 pounds later, talking of money, um, if you watched the, well two vlogs ago when we had the car crash, we've had the um, um, offer through from the insurance people. We bought the car three months ago, luckily for us, car prices have gone down, so we're going to get 7,800 plus scrappage for that car. So three months, it's cost us about 2,000 pounds. Cheers for the bloke in the Range Rover. Thank you very much. So yeah, two grand. Um, we have appealed it. Don't hold out much hope. Um, but we've now got a really difficult thing because we're going away on holiday in two days. We're off to Tampa, off on a cruise, funnily enough. Can't get enough of it. We've got the hire car. Obviously we've got to arrange for the scrappage ourselves. So um, there's a big window there where we need to sort out stuff because the car's down in Margate. We're three hours away up here in Fenny Compton and we've got to get the hire car back once we get the money and buy a new car um, don't know how we're going to do it <laughs> once again enjoys the boat in but hopefully once all that's sorted um, everything calms down a little bit oh, the whole Christmas period and the locks being closed and the car crash and the storms and all the rest of it when we come back from the holiday um, everything should be a lot calmer and we have got a good surprise. We are really looking forward to it and it's something that um, I'm sure you'll enjoy on the channel as well. I won't even give any clues, but um, yeah, so after this video, the next video, all will re be revealed. Um, thanks for watching. It's only a short video this time. Obviously this wasn't even gonna be one. We were gonna leave one for this week, but the storm was meant. We ended up with some content we didn't realize we were gonna have. Um, no Sonia this week, cause obviously she's there. So just from me, um, Hope you had a great Christmas and a new year and I hope 2024 has started well for you. See you all next week.